This video will talk about the style of honky-tonk music. Some of the musical characteristics of honky-tonk music are that it's upbeat, has mid-tempo, sometimes you will hear gently swinging shuffles, and other times there will be much slower ballads. It has a two-beat rhythm. There's a greater emphasis on the lyrics, more so than the rhythm. It has a lot of straightforward melodies. It's very easy to sing along with. Simple accompaniments, and it is based around basic chords such as 1, 4, and 5. There are a lot of instruments used within honky-tonk genre. Um, the two instruments that the, honky the genre is most noted for is pedal, steel guitar, and the fiddle. You will also see drums, piano, upright bass, and guitar. Honky-tonk musicians preferred a twangy guitar sound, and these guitars were electronically amplified. They also preferred, vocalists preferred having a rough and nasal sound. Later on, as the genre progressed, they preferred a more clear and sharp sound. The musicians sang with a lot of emotion. Lastly, they adapted traditional instruments and playing techniques so that they could be heard over the loud, rowdy audience in the honky-tonk bars that they played at. The lyrics of honky-tonk music dealt, with a, dealt a lot with infidelity and drinking. Much of the music dealt with hopelessness, both romantic and alcoholic. This was music that you could drink along to and cry along with. The music um, talked about themes such as the spirit of dancing, drinking, loving, and losing the one you love. The genre was also seen as sinful, just as the jazz and blues genres were seen as at the time. This is a picture of Hank Williams. He's a very famous honky-tonk musician. This, these are the lyrics to his song, I'm So Lonesome I Could Cry. If we listen to it, you can hear some of the musical characteristics that we addressed in the beginning. Sounds too blue to fly. The midnight train is whining low. I'm so lonesome I could cry. As you can hear, Hank Williams sang with a lot of emotion, and the lyrics were based off of um, helplessness, um, feeling helplessness after losing someone. This is just an example of how, um, um, how there are a lot of emotion behind the lyrics of the honky-tonk genre. Lastly, honky-tonk music was accessible to people in many ways. There are a lot of local radio stations that um, aired honky-tonk music. One, an example of this would be the Grand Ole Opry, um, which was both a radio station and a TV show. And as mentioned before, honky-tonks were bars in the rural south which provided live honky-tonk music, dancing, and liquor. So the, these, are plays, this is, these are ways in which people would um, listen to honky-tonk music. 